Whitey Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Shokugeki no Soma chapter 241 and I am so sorry that this video is just a little late. Um, I didn't realize all the manga chapters were coming out today. I honestly thought they were coming out tomorrow. So again, I am really sorry. I have been running behind. Um, also, I've been cooking uh, Thanksgiving uh, food with my mom uh, and I also went uh, went shopping a little earlier today so uh, anyway last chapter of Shokugeki no Soma we got the results of um, the Momo versus Megumi card and like I predicted Momo won so now it all comes down to Saito versus Soma I've been waiting for this card this one I, this one's going to be the hardest to predict, in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. Here we go. Keenly, uh, keenly honed. So he doth refuse to draw steel first. Fine. I shall advance then. Ooh. So Saito is going to make the first move, eh? The richness of the butter is concentrated in the steam rising from the dish. Salmon, um, uh, Lunier, uh, the garlic and soy sauce exquisitely flavor, uh, the squid liver saute. That sounds freaking nasty. I would try it, but squid liver, that sounds nasty. And the plump effervescence, wait, yeah, effervescence of the soy sauce pickled salmon roe. Okay, I like salmon, but that sounds fucking nasty. Um, the first class ingredients are all out in full force. The Saito Somi Senpai's um, Jewel Butter Seafood, seafood ugh, I can't fucking talk. Jewel Butter Seafood Bowl for ya. That sounds fucking nasty. And I like seafood, but that sounds nasty. And this uh, chapter is titled A Warrior's Honor. Dude, you're drooling. B -b it look, it just looks so good. Allow me to taste thy steel, Soma Yuki, um, Yukihara. Oh, Yukihara is not liking that. Soma's just like, he's like, he's glaring. Um, he's glaring. He's just like, ooh, motherfucker. Uh, Saito Senpai presents his dish first. Now then, just how delicious is it? Oh man, now I want salmon. Damn it, Saito. I'm not even getting salmon today. And this is like at my mom's house. It's like the only time I get salmon. I'm not fucking on salmon. I cut into the salmon and more steam comes out. My whole body's flushed with excitement. I'll take the topping and the rice together in one bite and... Oh my god, I am really hungry now. Thanks a lot, manga. Um, whoa. Uh, each part of the dish looks an unbelievably delicious. If they eat it all at once, they'll lose it for sure. Ah. Oh. I feel them. I can feel the waves. Chomp, chomp. Uh, on the breaking foam of the butter, the fisherman's sparkling catch rains gently down onto the plate, uh, onto the palate. Uh, I can't stop my chopsticks. The slowly roasted salmon. Oh man, I really want salmon. Um, the slightly starchy wheat flour surrounding it reacts with the butter permeating the dish and suffuses it with a deep mellowness. Sublime uh, heat control rounds out this perfectly made uh, minuye. Wait, hold on a second. Minuye sauce. There we go. The lightly butter fried squid liver and the minuye sauce. No matter how much I stuff my cheeks, I can't get enough. The saltiness and slight bitterness of the dish are elegantly tied together by the velvet, uh, velvety butter. Hold on a second here. Let me just make sure of something real quick. Right. Um. The butter brings these, uh, oh wait. The saltiness and slight bitterness of the dish are el elegantly tied together by the velvety butter. Uh, the butter brings these three ingredients together into harmonious synch uh, synchrony. Their playful texture hides the um, uncuttiness of the roe. And uh, what, wait, where's the Tobini? Oh, anyway. Um, what Toberny is in, uh, are the seeds of ba uh, Basia scorpia, and they have a bursting plump texture similar to roe. Anyway, 
Um, uh, and despite the fact that he's uh, used uh, butter with such abandon, the dish doesn't feel heavy. Ooh, that's really hard to do, especially if you use a lot of butter. Oh boy, Saito, I give you props for that. The secret to that lies in the vinegared rice below the topping. Damn, I'm hungry. Um, in fact, this isn't vinegared rice at all. He's flavored the rice with orange and lemon juice. So that's why he was juicing all those oranges. Seafood is already rather fatty. Well, the salmon is has good fats though. Um, throwing butter on top of that will make no doubt will no doubt make it almost oppressive. So to create the sort of light frolicking taste that can lift the oily heaviness, he's elected to use orange juice, which possesses a different sort of elegant levity that does vinegar, or then does vinegar. Many traditional French dishes employ both. So. For the record, obviously Saito has made a French dish, dish, and I've got to give him props for doing that and not going the Japanese route, which you would normally expect from him. Uh, many traditional French dishes employ both butter and orange juice. He's gone as far to make even the rice highlight the flavor of the butter. And by pushing the butter to its limit, the, sea, the seafood's flavor and amplified beyond belief. Um, this is almost like he's fighting with his uh, body and soul in the blade he carries. The very picture of a warrior. I thought Yukihara might just have the upper hand with this ingredient, but he's wringing out every uh, last drop of the butter's potential. It's crazy. Uh, it's crazy. Butter normally doesn't have anything to do to do with sushi, and that's what I was thinking. Like I was thinking, Saito, Saito might be screwed, but damn, Saito! I that's why I said I got to give Saito props for going French. Forsooth, my specialty is sushi, but that is why that is precisely why I have been able to make such skillful use of this butter. People often think um, that uh, quality of sushi rides solely on the quality of the fish used to make it, but one must not limit one's gaze so. The ingredients that support the star player from the shadows, the true brilliance of a fish's flavor is brought forth only through a delicate balance of sour and salt. Oh yeah, I completely agree. Because if you put, um, it, for me, when I have sushi, I always put soy sauce on my sushi. and. You have to have that belt, that balance of the salty flavor with it, because that brings uh, with the sour from the, the sweet and sour flavor of the soy sauce, because that brings that flavor out, or sour and salt, excuse me, of the soy sauce, because that really brings out the flavor. So I completely agree. This is just this is true not just for sushi, pickles, ugh, pickles, yuck, um, carpaccio, uh, aqua uh, pasta. Uh, sautés. Oh, I completely agree with sautés. And uh, virtually all types of cuisine, um, approximately choosing accompanying ingredients are what truly make the sort of fish uh, fish shine. I could flat out agree. I completely agree. But to an extent, but the freshness of the sh uh, of the fish, like wild caught or uh, farm raised, that definitely plays a factor too. Just saying. Um, in order, oh, or sorry, in other words, um, all possible uh, accompanying ingredients are in my field of view. They all doth lie in my sphere of influence. Tisk, he's not bluffing. No matter how skill, um, skillful your, uh, Rio, Rio knows, Rio is right on this. No matter how skillful your preparation of a fish, it's the ingredients that accompany it that decide its fate. Oh, I completely, well, Rio, you, Rio, you're right to an extent, but again, it, it's all, it depends on how the fish is as well. I can't believe he's crammed that much strength into a mere seafood bowl. I hate to admit it, but that thing is probably unbelievably satisfying. God, I'm starving. That thing's a complete experience in a bowl. Where does that passion for fish spring, uh, fish spring from? That's a good question. Saito Senpai's family used to run a sushi place. It was small, but it was loved by its regulars, and it was busy every day. Aww. Mom, I delivered those orders. Good work. Sorry for making you do all this, Somei. Chef, can I uh, get Kohada next? Uh, gotcha. His mother was the head chef. She raised him by herself while running the shop, and even managed to get him accepted into Tutsuki. Uh, Somei, Somei, guess what? Mommy's got an apprenticeship at uh, Shigar Shigarami Sushi. We'll have to close our place for a while, but I'll learn. I'll get to learn how to make much yummier sushi. Whoa, that's awesome, Mom. 
Maybe um, we'll get to make our own place into a respected restaurant too. Wow, I, I gotta say this right now. I'm glad we are getting Somi's backstory. Um, not Somi, I'm sorry. Uh, well, Somi, yeah, but Saito's backstory. We need this. Wow, I wanna become a super sh a cool sushi chef just like mom too. Somi Saito's mother was his hero, dreaming of the day that he'd be able to run the family restaurant uh, with his mother, he devoted himself to his studies. But tough days were all that awaited his mother. The artisans uh, took pride in dragging her over the coals. Oh no. Oh no. They were, AKA they were sexist mofos. Probably. They subscribed wholesale to the idea, yep, they were sexist mofos. Uh, the idea that women were not to be allowed within a kitchen sink. Okay, what the fuck? That does not make sense. This is complete opposite of, of the way we think. Um, that women were not to be allowed within a kitchen sacred walls. Uh, leave alone preparing the fish. They didn't even let her touch the rice. She was tasked with doing odd jobs outside the kitchen. She took it all on with a smile and worked from morning till night, but she eventually reached her limit. What sexist bastards? Like, seriously. Um, no one besides his ill mother possessed the know-how to run Somi's family restaurant. And though he was um, but 15 at the time, Somi Saito made a decision to protect their restaurant. He stand behind the counter himself. I'm so sorry to ma uh, for making you go through all this. Mother, just hang on for a bit longer. I promise you, I'll get the da daimyo to taste my food. I'll support this family. Don't worry, Mom, I'll protect our restaurant. Oh, poor Saito. I, like, I feel so bad for him. Oi, look. There uh, really is some little middle schooler standing behind the counter. My, oh my, if it isn't Shigarami's. Ha, huh, his outfit's probably um, the only one thing professional about him. Oh, oh, these motherfuckers are mocking his ass. We couldn't care less that you go to Tatsuki. We'll never acknowledge you. Oh man, these, these motherfuckers are ages and sexist bofos. The fact that a kid like you has the nerve to stand behind the counter is presumptuous as hell. There's no way some middle schooler could ever make real sushi. Oh, oh really now, you motherfuckers? Ooh, ooh, you dumb assholes. Ooh, he's gonna prove you wrong. Oh, get him, Saito. We'll, we'll remember you. The fact that you went against us means that you've made enemies of the whole world of sushi. Really? You really? Nah. -uh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Saito against this is Saito against the world of sushi. Please, please, bitch, please. Um, there's no way you'll be able to make your living in this industry. Oh, is that a threat? Is that a threat? Really? Carving his way through uh, tumultuous times is a warrior's honor. I'll turn this world upside down. Go Saito. I I'm rooting for you, man. I'm rooting for you. Not in the show. The not in the show of Geki, man. I am rooting for you in life because. I, I'm sorry, I have to, because what you went through, man, these motherfuckers are just all, in an all-out war with you. That's him. That's him, the one that uh, they say destroyed Shigurami. How dare he waltz in here? We'll never let you into the association's meeting room. Go home, kid. Don't tell me a middle schooler thinks he can enter this storied competition. Think you can um, make your homework, uh, homework sushi properly? So you, oh, really? So you're um, that kid I've heard is trying to take down all the artisans. I don't negotiate with young whippersnappers that can't respect their elders. Oh, come back after you've um, learned how to make real sushi. Oh, and these bofos aren't, haven't even tried a sushi? Oh, come on. You're by some motherfuckers. This is Saito against the sushi world, man. That's all this is. Slice, yeah, you. Dude, you, you, you go, Saito. I, I'm rooting for you, Saito. I gotta. I see. He clawed, he clawed his way up here on his own with just the weapon of fish by his side. Fish is, a, is undoubtedly his greatest pride. His ethos permeates even this butter seafood bowl. The fish are his blades, and the butter is the scabbard that allows him to be, draw, um, uh, to be drawn smoothly. Their flavor together is the like uh, Ido of the plate. All who taste it, all who fall before its edge. Um, oh, oh, are scattered. 
I am rooting for you, Saito. I'm rooting for you, man. Yeah, that's Saito Senpai for you. The judges have been cleaved in two. Somakun, well, what would what should he do? His enemy used the butter to 100% of its potential. Can he even win against a dish like that? Hmm, this might be bad. Ooh, oh no. If someone's thinking this might be bad, ooh, this might be bad. Faced with a strong enemy, what will Soma do? Oh, I can't wait for Soma's dish. But if Soma thinks this is bad, ooh, he might be in trouble. But I gotta say, Saito, I, I have to root for you, man, uh, in life. I can't root for you in this show, Shokugeki, but I, I can root for you in life because, like, Saito has to fucking take on the world, man. Dude, those motherfuckers are assholes. Like, they refuse to even try sushi. Like, th that that's just fucked up, man. Anyway, let me know your thoughts um, in the comment section below. Do you? Th what do you guys think? Do you think Soma even has a chance? I, I, ha I don't, I can't even predict this one. Like the other two Shokogekis, like I can predict. But this one, I, I cause like, that's really hard. I, especially like with, um, with Aizen and, 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 and Takumi, like it, I, I could predict a little bit easier, but, and same with the Momo and Megumi, but this one, I, I it's hard. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you guys think of this chapter? Like, do you think Soma is in trouble? Do you think Soma is, like, completely fucked? Or are you guys going to wait until that dish comes out and see what he does? Like, I hope Soma's dish is more like Aldini, where he has a strategy. Like, Soma's got to have a strategy for this one. Like, similar to, Al uh, similar to Aldini. I hope Soma's dish is like Aldini's, where there's a... Um, a more of a backstory and a strategy to it that is gives him more character development. I really hope so. Otherwise, like, so much fucked. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and uh, want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you can do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something on my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel. Find me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below. And until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.